AQA, A-level physics, particle interactions. So another chunk of the particle physics thing. It'll all come together in the end. Don't panic. There are four forces in nature that we know of. There's electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, uh, gravity, and the weak nuclear force. Uh, there was a time when there, it was thought that um, electric forces and magnetic forces were two different things. Now we know that they're just aspects of the same force, okay, electromagnetism. So they joined together into one force now that we know that they are one force. Uh, the strong nuclear force I've talked about that in another video and the weak nuclear force as well. Um, gravity is possibly different from the other three uh, because it may be to do with just uh, a warp in the space time continuum, the curvature of space time, etc. But nevertheless, there are four forces that we know about, four different forces. Some people think that all four of them, maybe there's a, a grand unifying theory and they are actually the same force that we're just looking at in a different way. Anyway, four forces in nature. Now, in classical physics, how do these forces work? Well, something like, let's say, a positive charge creates a field. So we have a field surrounding this charge and then if there's another object in that field, it is subject to a force. So for example, a, a positive charge creates an electric field. If there's another positive charge or a negative charge in that field, it will feel the force because it's in the field. And that is action at a distance. That is classical physics. Quantum physics is a bit different to that. Quantum physics is all about these things called exchange particles. Each force has its own boson, and the boson is the force carrier, the exchange particle. What does that mean then? Well, surrounding, now here's a, a positive charge and a negative charge, and surrounding each of them is a field of virtual photons. Now, they're not the photons which we know coming out of a light bulb. These are very strange, these virtual photons, they appear out of nowhere and then they disappear almost immediately. So these photons are popping up and disappearing and there's a ridiculously big number of them, okay? The, the actual number of virtual photons would follow an inverse square law, actually. Uh, but anyway, so that these messenger particles and the ones that come out of the or produced by the positive charge, the message is if you're negative, come over here. There's a party going on. If you're positive, go away. Yeah. So they carry a message to other charged objects, these virtual photons, these bosons. Now, the electromagnetic force, the boson, is the virtual photon. Uh, the strong nuclear force, now, um, the strong nuclear force, according to AQA, is carried by pions. Um, actually, within a proton or, or a neutron, uh, it's actually carried by things called gluons. Uh, but we don't need to know about gluons, so I'm going to cross that out. You just need to know that the strong nuclear force is carried by pions. The weak nuclear force, you need to know, is carried by W plus and W minus bosons. Uh, and then the gravitational force, there is a theory that there is a boson called the graviton, but it hasn't been discovered yet. So you don't need to know gravitons, it's just a theory. And then Higgs boson, well, they certainly do exist. They've been uh, verified at CERN, but we don't need to know them either. We need to know uh, virtual photons for the electromagnetic. Uh, we need to know pions. We need to know W plus and W minus. They're the ones that we need to know. 
Okay, uh, interactions. What's happening here? This is a, a neutron decaying into a proton. It decays into a proton and an electron, which is emitted as a beta minus, and an antineutrino. Now, this diagram kind of shows what's happening. At the bottom here, that's my neutron. Uh, if you watched my video on quarks, you'll know that a neutron is up, down, down. Uh, decays into a proton, which is up, down, up. So what's happened is that a down has changed into an up. You can say it flips, a down quark flips to an up quark. What actually happens is that it changes into an up and it produces this W minus boson. And then the W minus boson decays into an electron and an antineutrino. Yes, this arrow is basically time. So we start there and we end up there. You may be thinking why that arrow is going backwards in time. Uh, well, interesting. So that's beta decay. At least that's the neutron decaying. This is a proton decaying. Uh, can you see the differences? So we're starting with a proton and we're ending up with a neutron. This time it's a W plus boson involved. And this time we're getting a neutrino and an anti-electron, which is a positron. Again, some interesting uses of arrows there. I don't think you need to know that for these uh, anti-leptons, they're actually going backwards in time. You don't need to know that. Uh, these diagrams are actually called Feynman. Uh, an American physicist, Richard Feynman, uh, invented these diagrams to explain, to help explain what's going on in these interactions. Um, here's another interaction. This is electron capture. Now, in an elect electron capture, you've got one of your electrons in the inner shell uh, is actually captured by the nucleus. So an electron combines with a proton okay we get our w plus boson and we get a neutrino and we get a neutron yeah that's electron capture so proton and electron and it gives us a neutrino and sorry a neutrino and a neutron uh, this is an electron proton collision uh, this is when a proton and an electron collide at very high speeds. So again, proton, electron, you'll notice the difference here is that it's a W minus boson going that way. That's a W plus boson going that way. This is a W minus boson going that way. But end products are the same, neutron and a neutrino. You should recognize these. Strictly speaking, you should be able to draw them, by the way. You've got a bit of learning to do. Uh, pions, bit about pions. Pions are made of two quarks. They're made of a quark and an antiquark. Uh, there's uh, pi plus, there's pi minus, there's pi zero. These are the three types of pion. Uh, the pi zeros can be up anti up or down anti down. Two types of pi zero. Uh, mesons are middleweight because they've only got two quarks. Okay, uh, baryons have got three quarks. Mesons have got two quarks. And mesons are the force carriers for the strong force. I would say that's all you need to know. Uh, mesons carry the force between protons and neutrons, between proton, proton, neutron, neutron. Uh, and they carry the force between protons and neutrons. Inside, as I mentioned before, it's actually all about these things called gluons, but we don't need to know that. 